All right, guys, spider back for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, we're on to sequence seven. This is the first mission. This is uh, Jacob's side playing politics. Jacob hunts for Prime Minister Disraeli at the Sinopian Club to trace the mysterious bee who is planning Disraeli's assassination. It's the assassination of the Prime Minister of, of Britain, of London, Britain. Maybe he's at the Sinopian Club having some tea and crumpets. I don't know. Probably not. All right, B. Who are you and what's your game? Who are you? B, who are you and what's your game? That's uh, that's how he talks to me. Hyper talks like that sometimes too. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Reach the Sinopian Club. Okay, that's gonna be easy enough to do, I think. Oh uh, yeah, especially when you do the leap of faith. Alright. 60 meters, 65 meters. This police! Police are in front of the Snopian Club. They won't let me through the tunnel, but you know what? We got this freaking thing, if it works. Come on, L1! Grapple hook! Please, Jacob! Thank you! See? We just go over the rooftops, man. Nice. We entered a restricted area. Look at all the people down here. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we gotta reach this point. Oh, that's easy enough. Just drop down. Haha. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, a spy. Spy. What do we do with the spy? Do not kill any guards in the Snoopy Cup. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. We're just gonna... I don't know. Knock him out. Let's knock some out. No! Oh, for Christ's sake. We must spy on the individuals without alerting any of the guards. See, but now none of the guards are in the center, so... Sure. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, Disraeli, you are a fool. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny? Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crown to the bloody Stuarts! <laughs> wow. Dang, sir. Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you uh, make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it! Wow. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Oh, he's a little upset. Benjamin Disraeli! Oh, who's this guy following him? Who do you think you are? Oh, oh. B, I presume. I don't know. Maybe. Let's follow this guy. Where's he going? Tackle him. Okay, tackle him. Tackle him! Tackle the spy! Get him! He's running, though. Why is he running? He's running away, but I can run faster. And tackle! Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. B. B. My name's Herbert. And why are you following the prime minister? It's just a job, sir. Some old bloke paid me. To oh shit. Oh wow, really? Look at this smug. I was just gonna say smug bitch, but all right, let's go get her. Go get her! Ugh, the bitch! Come on, come on, come on! Oh yeah, we're gonna get her. We're gonna get her. We're gonna get her. Oh, why am I going up there? I don't want to go up here. Freaking hell! Ah, shit! Ow! Freaking hell! Ah! Yeah, we got her. Nice. I, I'm assuming this is a distraction. Why aren't we following the Prime Minister? What a dumbass.
Hello. Where <laughs> the hell? Where did you come from? Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, uh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lights are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Damn. Perfect. It's gonna let her go? Seriously? Oh, what? We didn't avoid all the sniper shots. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? Dude, we were on the freaking zip line. What the hell am I supposed to do? Should we kill her now? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I can't let you live. You probably end up warning them. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's uh, continue along this uh, this storyline. The bodyguard. That would probably be it. All right. Here we are. We're continuing on sequence seven. The bodyguard. Jacob plans to warn the prime minister of the threat to his life and question him as to the identity of the man in uniform named B. Who gives a kid... Who names their kid B, anyway? Exactly. What the hell? Hmm? Seriously, who names their kid B? Look at him just frickin'... So much for the house call. I have to find a way into that carriage. Uh, that's probably easy enough. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Infiltrate the Disraeli's carriage. Alright. Uh, let's just freaking run to it. Hey guys, don't mind me. They probably don't want me to do this, though. Look. Oh, shit. I guess that wasn't the right way. Damn. <laughs> I probably should have waited until it went off, right? That's kind of funny. I thought I'd try the direct approach. So now we got our two guys over there, so they're going on their route, their rounds. And no one else is looking this way? Are these guys looking this way? Yeah, they are looking this way. Okay, now they're not looking this way. Okay, so no one's looking. Infiltrate. Yeah, infiltrate! Oh god, hold it! Yeah! <gasps> What's the meaning of this? Who the devil are you? Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. Ha <laughs> ha Dizzy. Madam, apologies. But we've learned of a threat on your life. And the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> oh, that shit. Sort. If you excuse me a moment. What are you guys shooting at? Oh, snipers! 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 I know! Fuck! Come on, zipline, for Christ's sake! Thank you! Oh yeah, double kill. Sweet. Throwing knife, throwing knife, throwing knife, throwing knife, throwing knife. Thank you. Woo! Oh god, we got more dudes. Come on! Yeah! Come on! How dare you attack the Prime Minister of England, of Britain, of the world! No, not the world. Oh yeah, baby. Alright, good stuff. Defend. Defend the carriage. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna drive, man. Should I drive? Oh, shit! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, come on, I dare you! Ha ha! Sucker. Woo! Keep the carriages damaged below 50%. Done. What's all this? Not so fast, your ex. What? What the fuck? What? I was on top of the goddamn carriage. There's no way. Bullshit. Ah oh, hell. Way to go, Jacob. Uh get back here with that. Shit, there's no freaking carriage. Hijack the carriage unless there's no other fucking carriage for fuck's sakes. Alright, we gotta get into this carriage. Uh here. Fuck, give me a carriage that's turned the right way. Dude, I know! I know, okay? Freaking game. Whoa, easy. Where am I going? Oh shit, this is the wrong way. Ugh. 
Where the frick are these people going? God damn it! They went the other way. How could they? Uh, uh. Yeah. Oh shit! No! Oh come on, man! I had it. Ah, get back here, please. This guy doesn't know how to drive. What the fuck? Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes! I'm not getting the fucking the lesson one. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, full sync. Seriously, I jumped off my carriage and I had it. Ah, oh, hell. All right, let's. We gotta steal a carriage here. Let's steal this one. Come here. Get down. Get off. Oh shit. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Hijack driver. There we go. That's what I want to do. Woo! Easy girl. There, we did it. Okay, now what? Secure the carriage. Escape the area. Unscathed. Whew. Okay, we're we're out. we're secure. We're, we're, we're... You feckless muck snipe! What? Secure the carriage. What do you mean? What do you want me? To... Like, do I gotta get out. All right, the carriage is secure. Okay, I just had to step down. Woo! <sighs> All right, cool. Good stuff. We did it. Wasn't pretty, but we did it. I don't know why I had to get off the carriage to secure it. That bloody man! He will pay for this. Thank you. What do you intend to do about Gladstone, young man? I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large moustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, 8 o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, really? Mr. Fry! Really? Really? So I gotta give her a freaking tour. Are you serious? Wow. Alright, the body got completed. Yes, we didn't hijack the carriage in less than a minute. Son of a bitch.